guys welcome to this new video today I will talk about the tutorial of Roblox Parker Roblox Parker is one of my favorite games in Roblox it's realistic uh, kind of but um, it's a good game because it simulates pretty much the reality so it's pretty realistic and the map is pretty big and there are many and many gears and things that you can do okay so in this video I will only explain the basic tutorial of parkour and not the advanced or author or add or other things like the gears but for now I will talk about only the tutorial okay uh, the tutorial is really simple just click the question mark up in the menu if the menu is not here just click the open button and here we are in the tutorial I will explain shortly the tutorial because um, obviously you can just read up there okay so if you click with the mouse button with the left mouse button you, get, you, will, say, you will see the introduction just spam click until you get the valued section the cabins are the normal cabins that everyone uses in the in the ever games so to value it in an object to value it in front of an object you just need to go in front of the object that here is a, a this vent and uh, click uh, click space or better press space okay and so you have done the value okay so how you can surpass this gap over here it's impossible to go over here you know but there is a tab in the in the left of the screen that says if you continue to holding space during a value you can jump off the obstacle to get more height and distance so instead of just clicking clicking meanwhile you're not moving move in front of an obstacle and press and press an old space okay and here we are if you continue and there we are the wall climb is a really useful tool to go up the walls just go jump in front of wall press space and jump again like the ghost jump jump and jump when it turns red you should jump like this okay so you can do it in meter and not in connected buildings it's really easy just jump jump and jump spread or better press space space and space again until you reach the top um I think I'm I'm ready to prepare for the advanced tutorial so I press space too fast to do a welcome boost that you will learn something in sometimes in the next video. Okay, just space, space and space. And when you climb it up there, you will see the landing section. The landing section is a really useful tool to avoid damage just before you are hitting hitting the ground press shift press and hold shift not press and hold shift when you're jump like this don't do this because you won't avoid damage go really near when you are really near to the top of the building press shift and you will roll not press and hold well it's not so much a difference but i'll really recommend you to only press and not hold because you can do moves 
pretty much faster. Okay, so there is the war run. The war run is a powerful tool to cross gaps. You see this building, we can't neither go down here because we die. Go in the go jump from this building to this because it's too much long. Uh, the gap is too much long. So here we are now. We need to use the war run. Always say always say it backwards. The war run is not so realistic. It's not so a realistic movement in parkour because you can just run in walls. Anyway, if you jump in front of a wall, you can just press space again to do a war run. There is a recent recent settings that added in version one one dot nine. And in the settings, you will see the option all to war run. It's a really useful tool for other things, but I don't recommend you to activate this. Okay, so if you press, just press space and not hold space. When you are in, when you have a wall in the right on in or in the left. You start to war run like this. Oh wait, um, I fell down. You, sh you should start to war run. Okay, I'm not pressing space because it. I don't have the settings activated. Is this labeled? It's use useful for other things, like for just um, doing uh, da dashes with the grappler or the magrid but we'll get in that later so just war run start the war run and where you are really near like in that line jump again press space again so you can go to the building like this you see this obviously you should go on you should jump and go in front of the building because if you just go and press and the war run going forward you can't go to the building you should finish the war run and go and point towards the top of the building like this okay so those things are pipes the pipes are a really really useful tool to go up the walls so you need to face to a center of a wall if you don't face to center to a center of the wall what in to the center of the pipe if you don't face at the center of the pipe you will fall down so do the previous value trick with the press and all with move forward to the obstacle press and all the space button and like this oh oh okay so like this huh what like this okay so if you continue walking on these pipes, you will go up. Okay, so there is the routing. I will cut it down because I can't say to you how to do because I'm not the kind of people who show how perfectly is the game. So I am pretty annoyed by the people that says to the people the perfect things to do okay, so now i'll just skip this part by wall bursting we'll see that in the advanced tutorial but okay so now we are in the landing pads the landing pads are the red pads or the black piles of garbage in this case because you know it's christmas and uh, um, the game updated to the Christmas version the 
black piles of garbage and the red pads are green now uh, my mint so are a uh, mint color if you jump on them you won't take fall damage okay so what anyways um if you jump on them you won't take damage so and here we are again now there is the long jump so like the war run if you don't have walls to go and there is no walls near you and you can't war run to the to the other building just you see that this white and green bar in the in the down of the screen in the bottom of your screen or for your screen you can see that by pressing the say the middle mouse button the the scroll will okay so if you press the scroll wheel, you will see this dash line if you jump towards the wall and when you are and for first go in front of the gap run in front of the gap and press dash immediately after you should press space you see i recommend to you to practice a little bit of times because this a for me what is a pretty hard when I was playing parkour for the first time is what it was pretty hard so long jump and uh, go to the zip line the zip line is uh, this thing that is because it's Christmas is it's full of lights and uh, decorations but in normal cases it's just a normal rope if you go in uh, near a zip line, you should press E to go in the zip line. If you jump and press E, you are in the zip line. Okay, so so now this is the end of the tutorial. This is the first video I'll publish in sometimes a uh, really really much are much much harder video for the advanced tutorial of parkour but for now this is what do you need the standard tutorial okay guys i i hope this I hope you like this video and press that subscribe button if you like that. Check out other videos on my on our channel because it's also my brother channel. Uh, and I remain a reminder. I hope you like this video and bye.